FSR 3 frame generation is broken again. But what if I told you there's a way to enable Intel's CSS frame gen on any GPU, even your old GTX or RX card, and it's smoother than FSR 3? Let's unlock Intel's CSS frame generation right now in Cyberpunk 2077. No ARC GPU needed. Intel just released CSS 2.1.0, and it changes everything. Until now, you needed an Intel ARC GPU to enable frame generation. But this update unlocks frame gen support for all GPUs, NVIDIA, AMD, doesn't matter. I'm going to show you exactly how to enable CSS frame generation in Cyberpunk 2077, step by step. And trust me, it absolutely destroys FSR 3's input lag issues. 1. Download CSS SDK 2.1.0 First, go to the official Intel GitHub page. I'll leave the direct download link in the description below. Look for CSS SDK 2.1.0.zip and download it. This file contains the magic we need to unlock frame generation on any GPU. Once downloaded, extract the zip using WinRAR, 7-zip, or any extraction tool you prefer. 2. Locate and copy the required files. Inside the extracted folder, go into the bin directory. You'll see a lot of files here, ignore most of them. The only files you need are the last four files in the list. Select and copy them. These files contain the updated CSS runtime libraries we'll use to replace the existing ones in Cyberpunk 2077. 3. Replace CSS files in Cyberpunk 2077. Now, navigate to your Cyberpunk 2077 installation folder. Go to bin x64. This is where all the critical runtime files are stored. Paste the four copied files here. If prompted to replace existing files, click Replace All. This effectively upgrades Cyberpunk's CSS implementation to 2.1.0, unlocking frame generation options. 4. Enable CSS frame generation in-game. Boot up Cyberpunk 2077. Head into Graphics Settings and scroll down to Frame Generation. You'll notice a new option, Intel CSS Frame Generation. Select it, apply changes, and restart the game for it to take effect. That's it, no mods, no reshade injectors, just a clean file replacement. FSR 3 versus CSS frame generation. Now here's where it gets interesting. With FSR 3 frame generation enabled, Cyberpunk shows 60 plus FPS on screen, but it feels like a choppy 30 or 40 FPS. You felt that input lag, moving the camera feels sluggish and animation stutter. Switch to CSS frame generation and immediately, you'll feel the difference. Camera rotations are buttery smooth, there's zero input lag, and the gameplay feels fluid, just like native high FPS gameplay. Even though the actual FPS numbers might be similar, the smoothness perception is on another level. No more blurry textures, no ghosting, no broken motion artifacts. Now, I need to make this clear, this is not an official patch or mod. We are simply replacing the CSS 2.0 files with the latest 2.1.0 version. This method only works for games that already have native CSS support. Currently, that's around 22 games. But the results are already promising, and once modders like OptiScaler integrate CSS frame gen fully, we'll see widespread support across many titles. In Cyberpunk 2077, Intel CSS frame generation already feels superior to FSR 3. No hacks, no complicated modding, just a simple file replacement, and your old GTX or RX GPU can now experience smoother frame gen. If you're tired of FSR 3's latency issues and want a real upgrade in smoothness, try this method today. I'll keep you updated once full CSS frame gen mods are released for more games. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and let me know in the comments if you want a detailed tutorial for other games as well. I don't ever smoke up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever smoke up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement